No more eat regular EXs. I don't want the EXs. Give me one good hit. I got Noibat, Sparigatito, Quoxley, Sharkadet, Faulkner, Serviper, Pryroar, Paldia Ooper, Sandygast, and Paldia Evolve is finally here. Uh, the actual release date was actually last week, but you know, I had to uh, do my collection video because I really want to do that video. So we kind of postponed it uh, by a week. Usually I start with the booster box, but for this set, we're gonna start our first video with the ETB comparisons. That is right. Um, I got the Pokemon Center exclusive uh, Elite Trainer box right here, and I got the regular Elite Trainer box. We're gonna open these up and see which one gives a better pull. In my experience, usually the Pokemon Center one has better pulls, but you never know. Um, I start, I'm starting this set with a Elite Trainer box because I really, really, really want the promos. If you guys don't know, the promos that comes within these Elite Trainer boxes are the exact same promo um, as the, uh, ja uh, the Japanese uh, game, the Scarlet and Violet game. When it was released, it comes with that promo. It's the exact same card, but in the English version. I cannot wait to showcase that card on, on camera. I hope I get a really good centering one so I can send it off grading. All right, enough talking. Let's get cracking. To be fair, I do like the regular ETB a little bit more um, because I, the Pokemon Center one doesn't have the frame. It's it's more s simple. I kind of I think I kind of get the theme now. I think for Scarlet and Violet, ever since Scarlet and Violet, the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, it's always the the, the 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 design itself. It's actually more simple than the regular ETBs. I think that's what they're going after. But I do like the design of the regular ETB. I love the like the frame here. Um, it uses sort of a rainbow color. I think it looks super super beautiful. And they did an amazing job with the Poldia Evolved ET Elite Trainer Box design. I love the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this box and I'm gonna showcase the content. You guys should all know the content of Lead Trainer Box, so I'm gonna skip a lot of those uh, the pins and stuff like that. I'm just gonna showcase the important part. Here is the code for y'all. Let me know if you guys pull anything good with the online trading card game. Uh, now let's take a look at the sleeves that comes with it. It's basically the same design as the cover of the Elite Trainer Box. So, you know, if the des I, I personally think the Elite Trainer Box design is really, really good. So which means that I think this uh, sleeve looks really good as well. And I love the fact that they didn't use the gold uh, innards because I really dislike sleeves that use the gold color here because it's not a perfect fit, you know? Like, so when you put in Pokemon card, there's some spacings um, in the sleeves. And if it's gold, it just, it's too obvious when you put a card in. It just doesn't look good at all. So I'm really, really happy they use the, the silver inside. And for Polya Evolved, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just recount. Nine is a really weird number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, it is nine booster pack. So regular Elite Trainer Box comes with nine booster packs. And here is the promo we've been waiting for. This is the promo right here. It looks amazing. Oh my god. Right here. The, uh, the regular Elite Trainer Box doesn't have the Pokemon Center stamps. The Pokemon Center version of the promos will have a Pokemon Center stamps right here. So I will be collecting both of these. But look at this card. I think the front... You can see it's a, a little bit left heavy and the back is a bit right heavy so it makes sense. It's not perfect centering but the card does look amazing. I'm gonna crack open the plastic because uh, this one is definitely going into my collection. I love this card. I, I also have the Japanese version because I order on Amazon the, the Japanese um, Scarlet and Violet game just so I can get the Japanese promos. I'm so glad they actually included the English one in the Elite Trainer box. You can see a little thing like at the top here. That's a problem with these promos. It's really hard to get a really good condition one. 
Now for Paldia Evolved, uh, my chase card is 100% the magic card. I love that Magic Cup artwork. Uh, I also want the uh, the Iono <laughs> SAR card, the alternate art card. Um, I don't really care about the Tyran Tyranitar. I know that card is probably expensive right now as well. I think this is the uh, second or third week of Paldia Evolved. The Magic Carp card just keeps on going up in terms of pricing. I think on the first release day, that card people were selling for about $10-$20. I think it's up to 80 right now. So 60, 80 is, and it's still, still going up. I should have bought the Magic Cup around that time, but we got a Hollow Gyarados that actually looks super, super nice. Look at that. I think they really did a great job with the artwork for regular Hollows, but it's really a shame that they're including so many reverses and Hollows that it's hollow is not really a pull anymore, you know. So we got Magnemite, Flinx, Combi, Jigglypuff. Come on, you gotta give me at least one good hit per ETV, please. Talonflame, Therapeutic Energy, Marrow, Pomalt, and two hollows in a row, which means you get nothing. It's all good. We're just building up to the good pulls. We are. Building up to the good pulls. Got Fire Energy, Jigglypuff, Tadbold, Jeferic, Great Ball. Come on, come on. I need a, a good hit. Okay, I need a good hit for sure. Ugh. Oh, Poldian Tauros. I actually think it's kind of weird how it's like all black. When I uh, was playing the game and I saw the. Pull the end, Taros like all black. I was like, oh, I actually think the regular version of the Taros looks so much better. One, we got Dark Energy, Bramblin, Kufant. Now, I know a lot of you probably opened up all the assets already. Um, what's your favorite card? Let me know in the comment down below. Faulkner, Talonflame, okay, Jigglypuff. Oh my god! Low kicks. Dude, we just went through how many... We just went through four packs without any hit. Without any hit. That's okay. I'd rather it has one huge hit than a lot of small hit. But Poldia is like... um, Poldia is actually super popular compared to the, the Scarlet and Violet base set. The base set was kind of hype when before it came out and it quickly it just it dropped. It dropped very quickly. And Tyranitar Hollow, dude. We got four packs left. If we actually hit no we don't, if we don't get any hit from the Elite Trainer box, that would be so brutal. I think the I think last time um, I got like one V card, and if we get no hits from this elite, elite trainer box, I think it just broke the record of the worst elite trainer box ever. So we got Pyroar, Luxio, Honchcrow. Oh, this Pikachu looks so nice! Look at this artwork. Pikachu. Holy reverse Pikachu! The artist is Okachiki. <laughs> Okachiki. I think that's the name. But look at look at this Pikachu though. The armor looks so good. Great job. Okay, check it. Okay. Wo Chen EX. Wo Chen. I, I I don't know. The um I don't know what this is called, but like these um legendary Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet, like the four, I don't know, like the Chinese ancient beast. It hasn't grown on me yet. Cause I think the design kinda looks weird. Okay, especially Wo Chen. It's like a snail, but then it has a leaf head and then it grows eyes out of the leaf. It's, I don't know. Not my style. Not my style, for sure. We got Psychic Energy, Makuhita, Magikarp. Magikarp, I need you. That's the Magikarp is not even, old, it's not even like the SAR. It's not even an EX card, so it shouldn't be that hard to pull. I hope. Jet Energy, Noivat. A Como Centuage. Oh my god, we are down to two packs. Please don't let this ETB end with just one Wolchen pull. 
I feel like recently、um, ETVs, like the pull ratio, is super tough. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Like, I used to open an ETB and there's like three hits, four hits. And now it's like you get one hit, and, and very likely that that one hit is like a regular V or just a regular EX. Another EN Chen Pao. Okay, at least I think Chen Pao's、um, design, this, the design of this Pokemon is much better. Out of the four legendary, I think I like Chen Pao's design the best. So we got two EXs. I'm not really hopeful. With this last pack, but you never know, we could have a last pack magic. I just hope, Fumigo, I just hope we, we get something nice. Oh no, so I or r i k o r o low kicks again. Low kicks again. Okay, so for our first regular ETB, we got two EX cards and there's a two legendary. Let's go ahead and crack open、uh, the Pokemon Center exclusive one and see if we get a better pull with that. Now, this is the Pokemon Center edition. You can see they went, they went for simple for the、uh, Pokemon Center specific Elite Trainer box.、Um, all the, like, the frames, like the backgrounds are all gone. You just got the three starters in the front. It does look nice, but I do prefer the regular ETB design a little bit more. Now, This Elite Trainer box is all sold out on Pokemon Center's website.、Um, I think it came back in stock、um, uh, for a very short while. I think for one or two days, I think, after the release day.、Uh, but it went out of stock again. So I think people are actually selling the, the Pokemon Center version above retail right now.、Um, just because I think most people want the promo. With the Pokemon Center stamps. And you do get two promos for the,、uh, the Pokemon Center version. So, in terms of value, the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box is definitely better, but I think it's a bit more pricier too. You can only get them from Pokemon Center website, and I think it's like $77.99 per each. So, it's around like $80, close to $90 per Elite Trainer box, right? Now, the sleeves, I think it's the exact same design. Um, same as all the other sets. And here is the code card. Let me know what you guys pull. And here are the promos. There you go. So, the Pokemon Center version, you get two promos.、Um, and one of them gets the Pokemon Center stamp right here. The other one doesn't. So, I got a Pokemon Center stamp right here. Look at that. This one actually has pretty good centering. Like, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, the Pokemon Center version. Like, no, the, the, the one without it's not that good. It's very left heavy, as you can see. So, the centering is not really good.、Uh, oh, my watch just said something. So, I'm gonna keep this on the side. But I'm gonna open up the Pokemon Center version so we can take a closer look just to look at the,、uh, the centering of the promo. Man, I think they need to have a little thing on the side for cutting. Just give me a second. I'm actually,、uh, I'm actually gonna grab the scissors because I don't want to damage my card. Later. There you go. Let the camera while recording, that is. So we got the Pokemon Center version card right here, the promo. I think the center actually looks not that bad. It's a bit top heavy, but it's just very minor. And we got the Pokemon Center logo right here. The back center looks pretty good too. Again, a little bit top heavy, but not, it's not like it's not really that much heavier. So I think there's a high chance of getting a PSA 10, if not a PSA 9. Now let's count the packs. I believe you get 10 packs for Pokemon Center version.、Um, you get one additional pack. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, never mind. You got 11 packs. So, you get two more, get two extra packs. Potentially a better chance of getting a better pose, right? You got two extra packs. If you got packs, then you got potential. Got Q Font, c r o g o n come on, please. I, I just want at least one good pull. At least one good pull, okay? It's okay if it's not my chase card, but I just want to see something. That will make us、uh, like something that will make me scream. 
second pack in. The first pack is a regular holo. Which is just like a rare now. Like, because every pack's even. Like, if you don't get a hit, you still get a holo. So it's not really a hit, it's just a regular rare now. The Dawn Sparse, Pupitar, Tyranitar, K, okay. Quoxley, Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur is actually pretty cool. I love all the, uh, the the new Pokemon. I do like the design of Baxcalibur and the name. It just sounds so strong. Baxcalibur, like that name, sounds crazy strong. You know, in compared to like Tadbolt. No, sorry, Tadbolt. Like it doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't sound strong enough. Dendra, Holosan. Raichu. Raichu's art is really good too. Oh my god. The artist is right here. The name of the artist is T0. Raichu. Great job on the artwork, T0. Or T0, whatever it is. Uh, Mimikyu. I need a good hit. I think that's my I think this is my third pack. Please, no more eat regular EXs. I don't want the EXs. Give me one good hit. I got Noibat, Sperigatito, Quoxley, Sharkadet, Faulkner, Serviper, Pyroar, Paldeo Ooper, Sandigas, and Quasquavo EX. I just said I don't want any more EX. But at least it's a starter EX, you know. I will much, I'll be glad, I'll gladly take the starter EX than those four legendaries. So we got Lightning Energy, Great Ball, Rollord, but at least we got the EX very early on. So the Pokemon Center ETB right now, it does seem. Like, it might have a better pull rate for me. Hariyama. We are down to six packs. So, we're almost halfway. We're like... It's technically halfway, because it's not 12 packs, it's 11 packs. But almost halfway. We only have one EX card so far. Please, Poly Evolve, don't do this to us. We need a climax for our first Poly Evolve video. Panda Mouse, Luxio, Luminous Energy, oh. Bombardier, Azumero, Reversal Energy, and Lockix. I'm starting to hate Lockix from this set. Okay, I post so many Hollow Lockix that I do not want to see that card anymore. Fire Energy, Pinkurchin, Makuhita, Magikarp, Magikarp, please love me. Come, come to Papa. I need you in my collection. If I don't pull you, I'm gonna have to end up buying from someone else. And that's like an extra, I don't know, like 80, 100 in a couple weeks. But man, the ETB pull ratio is hard. I think for the new set, like the pull ratio for Elite Trainer Box is really tough. I actually don't know if it's worth to buy the Elite Trainer Box. Because the booster box, at least you're like at least you're gonna get some full art. I literally opened up two Elite Trainer Box so far and I only got three EXs. Reverse Gyarados. And we got a Paldian Tauros. Okay, at least, finally, no more EXs. This is uh, one of the SAR cards, so alternate, sort of sort of the alternate art cards. And it actually looks super cool. This card looks amazing. The center is kind of bad. It's he love heavy, but the artwork is really cool. Look at that. It kind of reminds me of the Lion King, you know? When, when the, um, when the dad, like, drop off the cliff this is what happened the stampede that killed his dad that killed Simba's dad 
But finally, we got a card that is not EX. So yes, definitely for sure, the Pokemon Center edition has better pulls for me all the time. The regular ATB, I don't know. I think the regular ATB just hates me. The pull ratio is really tough for me for regular ATBs. Tadbulb, Hoppip, and Palmout. Rare. We got two more packs. I'm hoping for one more hit. I'm hoping for one more good hit. If we can get a full art, then that'll be amazing. Or a trainer. Trainer full art, please. It doesn't have to be Iono. I'll be very happy with Dendra as well. Dendra full art. Palo Sand. Raichu. Tink a tink and reverse hydrogon and wiggly tough rare. This is actually a really good artwork as well. Okay, so we are down to the last pack. Last pack, guys. Okay, I really hope we can pull some last pack magic right here. I need you all to pray for me to have one last good pull from this pack here. We got Murkrow. Fair Giraffe, Zuelis, Iono, Reverse Spiragatito, Reverse Giraffaric, and then we got another Hollow Weavile. Okay, so it seems like two hits at most um, is probably the limit for Elite Trainer Box. Some, some of you probably will get, you know, luckier to get more hits. But I'll put two Elite Trainer Box and it's two hit per each. Uh, let's go ahead and review um, today's uh, polls. And then I'll announce last week's giveaways winner. A few moments later. Now just in case there's any of new viewers watching this video, I do give away the polls that I'm not looking to collect at every single video, okay? And all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. And I will announce uh, this week's winner in next week's video. Okay, so just follow next week's video to see if you want the giveaway for this week's content. Now, for this week, the cards that I'll be giving away will, will be the Chen Pao EX, the new Legendary, the uh, Quaquavo EX right here, the Starter, and another Legendary, the Wo Chen EX. Now, that's not all. I will also include one of the promo cards, the one that's sealed as in this week's giveaway. Now, this card is actually going for quite a bit of money right now. I, I think it's about like 30, 40, uh, 30, 40 bucks without the, uh, without the one without the Pokemon Center logo. But it definitely is a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, so if you guys want this card, uh, just make sure you enter the giveaway. And all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Uh, now, as in for last week's winner, you guys are right over here. That is right. Thank you all so much for watching the video, following my content. Now, um, if you're a first time winner, just make sure you reach out to me uh, with my email address down in the des uh, description box down below. Just make sure you reach out to me. Let me know your shipping address so I can ship the cards out to you. Now, thank you all so much for watching uh, this week's video. Next week, we'll be opening up the Podia Booster Box. And hopefully, we're going to pull some fire off that booster box, okay? Now, thank you all. I'll see you guys next week.